You know that I'm coming from a, a bit of prejudice here, but I think it's absolutely essential because nurses are the ones that are present with patients the most. They have uh, the most uh, or the, the largest role in patient education in helping them learn to live with their conditions, to self-manage it. And we have a lot of um, uh, sessions that will be focusing on nurses' role. There was a great one this morning about nurse-led services as a way of really meeting the needs of patients, particularly those who are older and have a lot of comorbidity and need, it, need additional help. So. We probably need a bit of both. Um, I think that uh, in a way um, nurses have, have specialized in different cardiac conditions, but it's really impossible to focus. If we only focus on that, we're, we're missing things. So I think we have to have somewhat of a broader view because we have to manage those comorbidities. Patients are not going to show up with just heart disease usually. Usually a lot of problems. Looking back over my career, I would say there has been tremendous change. Um, partly you're seeing um, higher education levels for nurses. I think there are more opportunities for nurses to get advanced education um, and also to become uh, not just not just in practice, but also to participate in research. So the idea of having clinical academic practices is something that's, uh, that's changing and that people are, are doing, so that they're both in practice, but they're also doing research. And then your questions are coming from clinical practice, and hopefully the research is going back into practice. I think there are differences by country. Um, in, of course, there are a lot of commonalities. But if you look across Europe, which is where I am now, I mean, the UK would be more like the US, but in some countries, nurses have not, uh, don't have the same educational opportunities. And so their roles may, not, uh, may be different. Uh, they may not have specialist or advanced practice roles. I hope that there are going to be more opportunities for nurses to continue to advance their education and to use all of their skills. Um, to really tackle cardiovascular disease, we need the, the best efforts of everyone. And you know, physicians have a role, nurses have a role, we need to collaborate, work together, but there are things that, that nurses can lead on and should have that opportunity. And I also hope that they're, they're going to get um, stronger in being able to use evidence, use the research, and also that some of them will also be generating the evidence for practice. That is a foundation, it's a charity here in the, the UK, and it was founded um, to really to promote the role of nurses, sort of carrying on the, the work that Florence Nightingale began, when, who really created modern nursing and said, hey, you know, it's, a, it's an important job and nurses need training. Well, there are actually um, seven Florence Nightingale Foundation professors of nursing, um, so I'm one of them, and there's, there will soon be 12. And our, we really, in a way, are ambassadors for the idea of um, that there can be nurses who are both in practice and doing research. So that's, that's part of, part of, a big part of what we do. So I have a joint post with Cambridge University Hospitals, and my role there is really about building research capacity and capability. I think she would recognize the job that nurses are doing because we're still at the bedside. We're still doing the things that she emphasized, which was about sanitation and comfort and good nutrition and hydration of patients. So the, the basics are still there. Nurses still have the same practical skills and the ability to provide compassionate care. And she would see that, uh, but we're advancing in a number of different ways. And I, personally, I think she would be, she would be pleased. <laughs>